everybody. Um, I'm back. It's Rita. It's Role Model. What's up? Welcome to my channel. So basically, I just took y'all with me today to do all my little running around, getting ready from when I sat down in this chair till the end of the night or whenever I came back. Yeah, I just started this channel a week ago, so I'm geek that I got a thousand subscribers already the videos is going amazing I just want to keep being able to give y'all good videos good content I want y'all to keep on supporting me rocking with me thugging it out you say it's really going to one nigga let's thug it out so yeah um I just want to say thank y'all from the bottom of my fucking heart my heart y'all my heart nah but seriously thank y'all um don't forget to like comment and subscribe on this video hey y'all hey i'm back baby it's another day to slay at this point um every time i get on here i'm gonna do something and look cute excuse my voice oh my god y'all i am getting over a cold i don't know if i'm getting over it or if it's still beating my ass like i'm just trying to do my makeup really quick because I got hella shit to do. So I just want to talk to y'all while I do my makeup. And yeah, let's get started. It's not really going to be like a subscriber type thing. I'm just going to be talking and doing my makeup at the same time. I don't mean, know. Uh, do not play about these little brown hairs. Like, no. I just dropped my baby off so I could record because you cannot. I mean, if you can. I literally salute you, but I cannot record with my child. Like, oh baby, I'm asking for it at that point. Having a baby and trying to do YouTube is no joke. So I don't know what I would do without my family because being a new mama is some shit. Like, it's not like extremely hard. Like, I'm pretty sure that it's women out here with no help that's making it happen. That's why I'm like so thankful that I do get the little help because I be needing like my me time. Like it took me a minute, y'all, to just bounce back. It might have seemed like I bounced that quick, like on the ground, but in reality, like my head wasn't my head wasn't like in that bad bitch state. Like I was like, you know, happy that my baby was here, that I was slowly getting my body back, but at the same time, like I wasn't in full like Rita role model mode. Like you know. So it took me a minute to deal with that, like, just to be feeling myself again. And I don't, I don't think I shared, you know, like that I dealt with postpartum for a minute. Like, I'm pretty sure like a lot of women deal with it. Like, I never thought like, I never thought that it would hit me the way it did. But bitch, when I say it hit me, I mean like, ooh, like, bitch, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> crunched me dead in my face so postpartum is real if you know somebody that just had a baby like check on them or when I realized that I had it my baby was crying now man you I was breastfeeding y'all so um I didn't really have a lot of time to like sleep like I didn't sleep I did not sleep I don't remember sleep for like the first two three months of being um when i just had my child like i don't even remember sleeping so um because if i wasn't caring to my baby i was pumping and if i wasn't pumping i was caring to my baby and it just was like that was it like that was my life and at the same time it ain't like i didn't want like um i didn't have people that would take him i was like one of them mamas like you know i don't want everybody around my baby with my baby type stuff so I'm gonna just keep him close. Like I used to go over my mama's house and stuff a lot, but that was about it. And when I went over there, it was really just to get like a little nap, but just to be around my family. So um, anyway, one day my baby just wouldn't stop crying. Like he was being so freaking spoiled, y'all. Like oh my god, he would not stop crying. And I just remember me rocking him. And um. I remember me rocking home, y'all. My fucking eyes getting teary. <laughs> I'm an emotional wreck now that I didn't have my baby. But, um, I just remember me rocking him. And when I finished rocking him, he was done crying. But, 
tag two. Anyway, I just remember rocking him and he wouldn't stop crying or whatever. And I'm just like, oh my God, like, what the fuck? Like, you know, a lot of things that go through your head, like, damn, I'm a bad mama, this, that, and the third. So, I was on that type of time, like, you know, I just was a new mama, I was here by myself, and he, I was still rocking him, still rocking him, and I just remember, like, he had stopped crying. And, um, and I was just still sitting there rocking, like, an hour probably had passed, like, and I was just sitting there, like, crying, like, I'm failing as a mama. I'm not me, I'm not who I used to be, like, my body not the same, like, baby, everything was hitting me at once, so, that shit was taking a toll on me, y'all, and I'm just, like, it, it started to become a pattern, like, every day, like, when he would cry, I would cry, so, I just really felt like I was, like, at a standstill with parenting, or, you know, I don't know if a lot of y'all got kids, but that shit will be like, I do not want to feel as a mother. Like, that's just, that's my worst feel. Okay, I'm back as clear and I'm ready to talk about it. I didn't think that I would deal with it because I'm such a bad bitch, you know? But no, seriously, bad bitches definitely deal with postpartum depression. So, that I'm a bad bitch. Bad bitch. Oh. That um took a toll on me and that was like one of the hardest things I had to deal with. But I thank God that I had my family because they took my baby for just like a minute, like like a couple of days, like three, four days, and I was able to just you know, like do my makeup, get cute, like really just feel like me again. Because you can lose yourself real quick and you will be in a tunnel trying to dig out like damn I'm, I'm never gonna reach you know like who I was prior to my baby so when you have a baby I always want you to you know put your baby first but always make sure that you're doing stuff that you was doing you know before you had him that made you happy or before you had your baby that made you happy so yeah it's just an emotional topic I been super emotional anyway though like i'm a fucking pisces so bitch if they put fucking extra pumps of vanilla in my coffee i'm crying like i'm a fucking god why would y'all do that now i'm gonna have to like so that's just the type of emotional person that i am being a mama baby it ain't no joke but it is so worth it you like sleep wait like wait Cause ain't no sleep. What is sleep? Like, maybe don't you see these dark circles bad? Ain't no sleep. Well, I always ask me like, do you go, is you gonna have more kids? Are you gonna have more kids? Like, of course I'm gonna have more kids. Um, no time soon. I know that for a fact. And they be like, what you want a little girl? No, I don't. Oh, uh, hell no. I want another little boy. Um, reasons behind that. It's because I know I came out perfect. I'm like my mother's perfect child. Comment below. When you have your first kid, do you want it to be a girl or a boy? Or when you have kids, period, do you want like girls or boys? Um, or both. So I'd rather have, so I'd rather have, I said if I had a girl, I'd rather have her after I have my son so he'd be able to check her because I'm going to be in and squint. I'm gonna be this squared up with my baby. Like, gee, don't fucking play with me. I already know me. I'm gonna be there and smack the shit out of her. So, I feel like mama just always softer with they boys anyway, though. So, that's the type of time I'm gonna be on. I love my baby. That's my firstborn, and it's a boy. So, whatever he wants, he can get. I just wanna make an honest man out of him. Like, truly. I want him to know that he got to work for everything he want. Like, you got to strive for it. Ain't nothing going to be handed to you. Like, I'm in your corner regardless. But, baby, it's only so much I can do. I never want to enable him. You know, like, I really want to make an honest man out of him. That's my goal. So, yeah. That's the type of time I'm on with my sonny. I love my baby. I'm definitely going to give y'all 
a little more like info and shit on um, my pregnancy, my birth, the delivering him, and that whole little night because baby, it was a wreck. Video coming from period. But yeah, my channel been um growing at a steady pace. And I'm so thankful. Um, let me know down below what type of videos y'all want to see. Other than like, you know, like makeup tutorials. Do y'all want to see me like be logging a little more use more looks, more makeup looks. Um, but yeah, I know I'm gonna have like a lot of little different videos for y'all. But I always want to know what y'all want to see. I know a lot of a lot of y'all say like my clothes and um my hair so i'm definitely gonna have a video up on my hair y'all have definitely been responding to my other videos really well a uh, bitch can't complain get it get it um but yeah i'm so thankful that i hit a thousand subbies ah, i just can't believe it um a lot of y'all be like um i told you you know bitch we was gonna hit a thousand but you know, just to look at that number, like, increase and then see, like, people who like the video, that increase. It's like, you know, y'all really rocking with me. Y'all really rocking with a, rocking with a Nick. Yeah, my dreams been so crazy lately, like, my dreams been crazy. I need to go to so many stores, like, Oh y'all, they had these little fake, um, like Balenciagas at one of these stores. I don't even remember what the fuck they was called, but I said, bitch, I'm gonna grab them. Like, motherfuckers on these ain't Balenciaga, but, bitch, I'm gonna cop them. They was real cute. Like, I love stylish shit. I wouldn't wear nothing that was, like, fake. That's what we gonna talk about. We gonna definitely, let's talk about that. So, me, personally, like, I've never been into the whole, like, wearing fake shit like i just won't if i can't afford it then i won't buy it Same on it like i'm not talking about when like regular stores come out with it and then you know it's like a like an off brand you get what i'm saying like i'm talking about if you really wearing some shit that says like gucci and you know for a fucking fact it ain't the real gucci like no i'm not fucking wearing that anyway uh that's me personally because i feel like if i can't afford it then i'm not gonna fucking wear it like like me wearing something that's not the real thing but has these people real name on it it's just like fried as fuck like perfect example when they came out with the balenciaga like sock shoe um akira came out with some i had some green ones they was cute as fuck from akira didn't have a name on it and they was cute as fuck so yes, I would definitely wear something like that. Now I wouldn't have bought no fake fucking Balenciaga. Like if Akira would have came out with some ones that had like Balenciaga on it, no. Do y'all get what I'm saying? Like I would wear something that was mimicking it, not like a mimic of it, a replica of it, but not a knockoff of it. That's what I'm saying. So how do y'all feel about people wearing fake designer or replicas? Like do you not do both? Will you do a replica and not the fake, or will you do a replica, or will you do the fake and not the replica? You know, vice versa. So let me know in the comments below what type of time you want. But that's the thing, like nowadays, like people feel like if you want to like design or whatever, but you ain't popping. One thing about me, you really gotta know, like you popping. If you ain't got no head, you ain't popping. <laughs> no, but seriously. You gotta pop your shit in whatever. You gotta pop your shit in that little $3.99 dress. You gotta pop your shit in your old navy flip flops, bitch. You gotta pop your shit in whatever. Like, you don't need designer to be that bitch. You feel me? And that's just the type of time I'm on. You a real, like, I got like a little designer shit, but you ain't finna see me every picture I post in One, because, bitch, I'm poor. <laughs> we poor over here, so we like to look cute on a budget. Um, two. It's because I just feel like that's the wave. Like, when I do get my little cute little coin though, oh, skirt, pump you right, because baby, it's going down. Basement. Friday the 13th. Yeah, that type of time. Timing is everything. Like, I was just talking about this the other day because um, one of my followers DM me, like, is you gonna 
No, she like, why didn't you start your YouTube or whatever when you uploaded that video back in like January or February? And it was just a lot. Like, it wasn't, I feel like, I feel like it wasn't the right, it wasn't me. When I filmed that video, like the intro was me, but looking back at the video, it was a talk, talk of voiceover. And I like to talk to y'all. Like, I don't really want to do voiceovers. That's not the, that's not what I want to do. It just didn't feel like me when I did it. So I'm glad that I started when I did, which was with the Fanta video. I just keep on going back to that video because I love it so much. I edited like all my shit myself. So I'm just proud of my accomplishment with that video. Even with the second one, like every video I post, I'm gonna be proud of it because you know, I'm just starting over from scratch and I'm doing it, you know, by myself. So um i didn't feel like the video that i recorded then was me and it spoke like to how i am i want to be able to talk to y'all look y'all and y'all ass i'll see you when it's time it's time like you just don't know like, i already like come on real like it's now or never um yeah what is this money money for the money Louis Prada Gucci, Louis Prada Gucci, Louis Prada Gucci, Louis Prada Gucci, pop them tags, pop them tags, pop them tags, pop them tags. I'm going shopping, period. Anytime I find money, baby, it's a good day. <laughs> I'm two dollars worth of bitch. Um, yeah, I'm done. I'm gonna get dressed. And I'll be to talk to y'all a little bit more before we head out because I'm taking y'all with me today. We kicking it, kicking it. You feel me? So yeah, I'm gonna just get dressed and I'll be back. Oh, 12 behind me. 12 behind me. Um, <laughs> they working on my fucking street, y'all. So I be having to go all the way around. Like, oh, 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 no, no, no. Anywho, I'm gonna go get me some Starbucks. And I'll check back in with y'all because I need to listen to my music. To listen to some music, so yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Alrighty. Nigga, you don't want no problems. Hello, Mr. Hello, can I have a uh, matcha green tea latte venti? Green tea latte? Yes. Um, I don't want no ice. I just want to chill. Okay. And can I... Ice? It what? is ice though, right? Yeah, it's ice. Just, is I'll... that green tea latte hot? No, it's ice. Is that green tea latte No ice though. I just want to chill. Um, I want to add six pumps of vanilla to that. So fucking loud. Fucking slow. The fucking hood, bitch. The motherfucking hood. Yeah, it was. Um, so I'm getting a venti matcha green latte, chilled, no ice, six pumps of vanilla. Vanilla. Yes. Anything else? Nope, that's all. Five fourteen. Let me let me come in ahead. Six pumps of vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. 
How do they? How the fuck? Oh, you the one who had the tattoo last time I was telling. Oh, what? What's weird? It cleared up. You had oh, just yeah. got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Don't fucking do that. Shoot. Don't do that. You gave me a straw already. Don't try to milk it. <laughs> nah, thank you though. Ooh, y'all got these little kids acting up up here. Baby. Ugh. Why the fuck did I drink it with that fucking gum in my mouth? Baby, she just walking. I'm gonna get hit and some more shit. He gonna try to give me an extra straw to talk to me. Bye. Every time it's like a hot ass day or like a nice ass day in Chicago, I swear to fucking God, 12 be fucking out here, bitch. Like, God damn. That's why I got my seatbelt on. I'm following all safety protocols, officer. Please, Mrs. Officer. I bet you this name is called, huh? Yeah, so just stay away from me, officer. I'm doing just fine. I refuse to go to the JD, Richard J. Daly Center again. Oh my God, y'all. They know my name by fucking hard. Like, I'm always in that bitch. I'm done. I'm done. I'm driving like Miss Daisy from now on. Don't you hate when cars are on the side? You're try to hurry up and speed up. Like, bitch, this ain't a motherfucking race. It's a marathon. <laughs> the fuck? So, yeah. I'm going to just um, talk to y'all a little bit more when I get to my grandma house. I have to have it, like, get myself together to go through that. Only in the This is grandma. I don't want to be in my vlog and grandma said no. <laughs> oh, Meaning, I know you want to be in my video, baby. Y'all, I think I have, um, like, what is it when you have memory, like dementia? I swear, I've been losing everything like crazy. Like, I cried the other day. I couldn't find my keys for like an hour. Uh, what's the final? In the bathroom. And you know, I just bought another chain recently. Uh -huh. So you know, I lost the role model. Like, I didn't lose it, but it's somewhere at my house, so I misplaced it. Mm -hmm. okay, and then I just bought another chain. Oh, yeah. oh, wait. I'm sorry, never mind. I Come in, Nene. Come in, Nene. I finally got another chain. I bought another chain and lost that one. And that was just three days ago when I had that little purple two piece on. That's, that's too much. Come in, Nene. And you have to be really uh, on it when you put something somewhere. It's got to be a designated spot each and every time. Yes. It must. Same. When you have a lot going on, you have to be organized. Please be organized. You looking like, what is that, mommy? <laughs> what is that, mommy? <laughs> like, hey, look at Hey, don't pull it out. Oh, it's 2 o'clock already. Yep. Get ready to get up out of here. We made good time. We killed good time, didn't we? I'm just going to put you out of the yard more often. Just put a blanket out there, turn the water on, put you there. He loves out of the yard. He loves out of the yard. Yeah, I'm just saying. I just, how I came here, I used to the washroom. I filled up water. He said, set it safe. Every time I peeked up out the window, he was looking over. Look it up at the door. So cute. I'm gonna tell my mama she needs to do a Toy Story tree. My battery finna die, so. A bitch might have to record on her phone. Oh, I'm so fucking cute. Ooh, have y'all ever tried that before? Or no? Let me know. It's called Pure. I love these cute little chains. Ooh, Brie, I need a feeling ASAP. I'm ready to get the fuck ASAP after this shit. I know you watching. I need a feeling. But these chains are so cute. Oh, Ooh, y'all, so. Ugh. I just got this cute ass fall shit. Bitch, I'm doing a fall haul for y'all hoes. <laughs> No, I'm doing a foul haul, like, 
Oh my God. I was gonna record when I was in there trying to know, but I'm like, oh my God, this would be a decent haul. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna do a fall haul. It's gonna be lit as hell because, oh my God. This little piece I got, it's just like perfect for fall. And I don't know if y'all know, I love coats. Like, I have to show y'all my coat collection. Thank you. I have to show y'all my coat collection because it's off the fucking chain. So yeah, I'm just gonna go to one more store that's out here at a mall. And then I'm gonna shoot to Walmart real quick because I need to try to find my baby like a little cute little broom set or like a little vacuum or something because his ass wanna be cleaning handy dandy all the time with my mama damn broom. So I need to find him his own because son, no. Oh, my camera for the fall. I know what it is. Like, uh, this hill is so fucking steep. Like, um, yeah. So, I'm definitely doing a fall haul because I've definitely been collecting, like, you know, little cute little pieces and stuff like that. So, that little number I just bought. Hey. Period. So, yeah, I'll see y'all or when I get in the store. So basically I just took y'all with me today to do all my little running around Getting ready from when I sat down in this chair till the end of the night Or whenever I came back I really want to say thank y'all for helping me reach a thousand subscribers I love y'all to death Like oh my god y'all probably like girl shut up if I'm your thousand subscribers Like no it is everything to me. I'm so grateful because, like, literally, I just started this channel a week ago. Just started this channel about a week ago. A week ago. Because it's really tweaking. Tweaking. So, yeah. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think about the new do. Ooh, ooh, it's not really new. Y'all know a bitch I pop on the wig in a second and get. So, yeah. Um, just let me know how y'all feel about it. I needed a new hairstyle. Ugh. I needed a new hairstyle. Yeah, I just needed to pop on some real cute until I get my hair done. I was a little over in my middle part. Y'all know I love my middle part, but it was just, it was time for something new. And I love popping on my little Chinese kitty because I be feeling real cute. So, just keep on rocking with me. I love y'all and I will see y'all for the next video. We hit a thousand subscribers we on the road to 2000 so yeah hopefully by the end of next week i'm at 2k baby let's get it 2k i'm super excited for this journey i keep letting y'all know that because i know y'all waited a long time for this channel i took a long time to start look no subscriber who this <laughs> but yeah i love y'all see y'all next time